Hello and welcome to the 19th tutorial in the Cocos 2 dx version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at fading using the fade to action. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5, if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you just implement it directly into your own project. Also there'll be another link in the source code, I mean, in the description of the source code, in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So it's going to go ahead and open up our project. And the fade to method action, I should say, allows you to fade your items, uh, in this instance is a sprite, to a particular opacity. So basically you're changing its opacity over a set period of time. To do that, do auto, let's create an action, which I'm going to call action, do equal to fade to colon colon create. So you specify how long you want it to take, I'm for 3 seconds. Now you specify the opacity, 255 is full opacity, fully visible, 0 is, well, no opacity, you can't see, it's hidden. Now I'm just going to put 100, so it's a little less than half opacity, so you should still be able to see in the video. Now you just need to run this action, so my sprite, run action, specify the action you want to run, and now we're ready to run this application. There you go, we faded to 100 opacity over a period of 3 seconds. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at fading using the fade in action. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk or just comment or just message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for the source code will be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.